Welcome back to daytime. You are in the... You are in the presence of two great hair ninjas. Balalo Hair Artistry has been servicing your community and for all your fashion hair needs for the last 10 years, celebrating 10 years in the community, but also keeping us so very in touch with everything that is the world of hair fashion in its various different incarnations. Joining us now, Michael and Balalo Zenadine of Balalo Hair Artistry, as well as Ellie Malik, who is the smiley face model, who is uh, here to, uh, I guess, uh, we're, we're gonna show some of the upcoming trends to, to expect this summer, and Balalo, working right away. Welcome to you, to, to all three of you. Thank I'm gonna you, start off you. with you, Balalo, because you're, you're working away. Tell us what, for 2011 summer of, what are the ladies doing? Well, we're gonna try to give her a summer look with lots of volume. We're going to use accessories today. Uh, we're going to, you're going to see me using a little bit of stuffing, um, hair stuffing, of course. Mm -hmm. um, so you will see great for fast, putting it up and then enjoy the patio, enjoy the evening. It's reversible, so much nice. And, and one of the things that, that uh, kind of distinguishes you mm -hmm. guys is that you are continue, you on a on day-by-day on a -day basis, you're, you're working uh, to develop your skills, uh, traveling all over the world to develop your skills. And, and Michael, you, uh, both of you have, have had trips over the last uh, year that have been, yep. uh, you know, um, uh, of note. And this is this is kind of your mandate. This is what really tip, it kind of, really makes Bolalo so very special is that you guys are on the cutting edge of things. Well, we have to, you know, being uh, from Kitchen Wire Lou, you know, um, we always want to go overseas or into the States and bring these new styles into the into mm -hmm. Kitchen Wire Lou, you know, and this is why, you know, past 10 years, my brother and I and our staff and our full salon has seen it's changed by so much, you know, and I remember a long time people say, well, it's the, the Toronto look or the mm -hmm. New York look. Well, it's not anymore. Now we're bringing it back to Kitchen Wire Lou, and it's about time. Well, this is it. The, the yeah. big liar face lie is the fact that you do have to travel to a place like Toronto to, to, to really kind of experience high style. Not the case. This is what you guys, again, uh, through continuous education, provide the, the, the KW area. Um, you know, uh, every fashion need is possible. And again, there's been a lot of change over the last two, uh, 10 years. And, and maybe we can touch on that. I mean, when you guys first started off, what sort of major kind of points of change have, have, have occurred? Well, we found right now, um, especially in probably about 2011, going to 2012, that a uh, very natural look mm -hmm. is very in. Mm -hmm. uh, when we opened the salon in June 19, 2001, it was more of the bold, the out there, the kind of mm -hmm. in-your-face kind of style, and that was great back then. But now everything is going more sleek, more sexy, more professional. Uh, of course, Kitchen Waterloo is growing, you know, with their jobs and everything. So uh, more people want to take care of themselves, mm -hmm. you know, um, more, like I said, blue-collar kind of community. People want to look better. They want to look cleaner. They want to do the highlights, the full spa. So I think we're, we're starting to find out that they want to take care more of themselves. And, and again, that's it's, it's important to note that this is not exclusive to women. I mean, you, your, your male clientele has, has grown we, and grown yeah, and grown. We have a huge male clientele. And as well, you know, they walk into our salon, th you know, think it's a high end salon. They're going to mm -hmm. see a bunch of girls everywhere. But actually, it's a mix, you know. So we have our construction workers, to our lawyers, to our doctors. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're a mix of clientele in our salon. And again, a full service, a full service salon. Absolutely, you provide services. everything from waxing to, to pedicures, uh, um, manicures. Oh, absolutely. The whole uh, all of it, absolutely, all of it, and, absolutely. And again, this is just everything, and and also too, uh, you know, again, um, Bilalo, you just returned from from Lebanon. You were yes. in Lebanon. Uh, I and, was and there for five weeks in uh, December till February. Um, I learned a lot. Like I mean, that's why I said we always go to away from uh, Kitchener Waterloo, Ontario, um, just to bring the new trend for us. Mm -hmm. Because really, we're doing a lot of the normal people do like curling iron and everything, but we're trying to use accessories in the hairs to make it. A little bit avant-garde, a little bit, I step it up a little bit more. Well, and so. which, is, which is typified in your name when it says Balalo Hair Artistry. It's well, all it's about actually... being artful in the hair. And Ellie, already your hair has undergone a pretty massive transformation. And, yeah. and there is kind of this, uh, it, I, and, and you can you can slap me if I'm wrong, but this, there's kind of the pseudo kind of 60s uh, um, coming Everything's infusing. coming back. Yeah, yeah coming back. The big hair, back. kind of the, I mean, initially sure. it was kind of Amy Winehouse with, with the larger hair, but it's full body and it's glamorous. And, and even with the men, it's very tailored, it's very oh, yeah. clean. And uh, that's what you guys do. Well, because they know, because you know, everybody doesn't want the same style over and mm -hmm. over, right? So as our salons are supposed to provide different looks every time for mm -hmm. a client. So really, when we have clients come to the salon, we want to give them a different opinions and different options. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to really sit down with a client and say, okay, the usual, and let's go at it. No, we like to sit down, have a full consultation. Mm -hmm. I don't care if I've been doing their hair for 10 years. We still sit down. Mm -hmm. We still talk to them. Okay, this is what we want. This is what you don't want. Does the color suit you? Are you going to go yep. in an evening uh, gown? Are you going out? So we have to work with the client, and that's when the styles change. Well, and this is a big thing, too. The other thing that you guys preach is, is versatility is that that when you get a haircut uh, when you have your hair done 
know, you can you can really style in a variety of different ways to kind Absolutely. of suit the the occasion. And I, we're seeing Ellie obviously being, um, I guess the best way of typifying this would be for an evening out. Yes, versus correct. an evening to Burger Absolutely. King. Um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and I have to do have to she say looked, that she looked pretty good going to Burger King. She does, and it's fabulous. She's beginning to look. The ozone quality is definitely changing in in the studio right now. But uh, I mean, this is this is a, a very sculptural piece of hair. Um, and again, something that you can totally see, uh, you know, when you're dressed for the nines and you really want to have a wonderful evening out, either with yourself, your friend, or a loved one, this is a beautiful, beautiful look. Absolutely, and even too with uh, with Ellie, even if tonight you know she takes away the the bump it, mm -hmm. tomorrow she can wake up quickly, put a blow dry throughout the hair, and she's going to get volume, which is going to that curl, some of that sleek. So you can use it the next day. We make it reversible, and so she it's can definitely work off roading with that too, because it, it is something that will provide okay, her with a little bit of nice. back of the head safety, I would imagine, <laughs> with that uh, piece and absorbency too. Um, but no, it looks uh, you know joking aside, it looks very very natural. Yeah. Um, again, her hair looks really, really uh, kind of luxurious and, and, and healthy versus uh, there was a time where everything was kind of rock solid and glistening. A and, lot of and, curled, and a lot of stuff like that. Yeah. It's too, too done up. It wasn't like free. And that's the whole idea we wanted to make the hair free this time. Color trends for the summer. Where Absolutely. are we going? Um, of course, summertime, people want to go blonde. Mm -hmm. You know, they want to go lighter. Uh, blonde is beautiful in the summer, especially mm -hmm. with uh, being sun-kissed and everything. Um, again, natural look. Everyone wants to go more natural. And if they want to do highlights, they do a lot of the peekaboo highlights, mm -hmm. where they're mostly underneath from the hair. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I got highlights, but not really showing it's it too like, aggressive. I have highlights. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> and, that's it, what, and that's what they call peekaboo. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Peekaboo, there we go. See, we're learning all this hair tech uh, terminology. But again, uh, one thing that, that you guys really tried to install with your clientele is developing that type of relationship where of you do have a game plan. Of course. You, you start to look about what the client's looking for and where you can see as a, as a stylist where maybe certain styles would better suit their face and, and their lifestyle. And well, we're, we're, that's why we're considered health professionals because mm -hmm. we're here to educate and tell the client what suits them and not, you know. Well, a lot of time we like to listen to them and get their ideas, but then we have to kind of spin off and give them mm -hmm. our ideas as well. And we just work together. And, it, and, yeah. and, it, and it, the, the work shows for itself. Now, now I'm going to, I hate to minimize this in, in a guy style terminology, but you've Thanks. taken a big chunk of foam, put it on the back of her head, and right now, it, it, you never in a million years, it just looks luxurious. It looks like it's her natural hair. And you call this a bump it? This is the actual term? It's not a bump. It's a stuffing. You, it's called, it's well, a this stuffing. is called yeah. stuffing. Yeah. Um, but in, <laughs> you can, it gives you the bump. It gives it you a volume. So if somebody has, like Ellie has long hair, but somebody has shorter yeah, hair, yeah. Uh, you can build it, but extend it. Make it a little bit more movement. And, and the hair accessories too, just, just to put, putting kind of a little bit of bling in her hair. Uh, that's probably the worst possible term I could use. We'll call it hair accessories to Correct. really just emphasize the lines that you've created. And, and again, this is something to be expected uh, at uh, the, the the ninja stylists themselves, Bilal Hair Artistry in uh, in Kitchener. Uh, much beloved to us here in the studio. They do our hair, and uh, I love it. And I love my experience in, store, in, in salon with you guys. That's what it's about. So continue to for another 10 years. Hopefully, thank thank you. you guys. More daytime to come, so stay with us.